Welcome back, I'm Jillian Bach. The Gator baseball team has hit a bit of a rough patch, dropping three of their, dropping to three and six overall. We're now joined by WFT Sports' Mike Gillespie live at McKeithen Stadium for a preview of this weekend series. Mike? Thank you, Jillian. The Gators have seen better days coming into this three-game series with the Miami Hurricanes. Florida has dropped the last five games, including being swept by Florida Gulf Coast last weekend and dropping a thrilling 7-6 to six loss against the University of North Florida on Tuesday night. That game was in 10 innings. So the Gators going to try to turn this ship around tonight. On the mound tonight for the Gators, Jonathan Crawford gets the start, but Miami doesn't really need another reason to win this one. The Gators have taken the last 11 contests with the Hurricanes and ended Miami's season last year here in the Gainesville Regional. And you got to go back to March 2010 to see a Hurricanes victory over the Gators. So the Hurricanes going to be fired up tonight against Florida. First pitch scheduled for 7 p.m. right here at the MAC. My boy Steve Russell will have the live call on the Gator Sports Network. Jillian, stay warm in that nice studio. Back to you. Thanks, Mike. While the baseball team has been riding the struggle bus, the Gators softball team has cruised to an impressive 17-1 start. The Gators are hosting a tournament this weekend and are currently in action against Drake. At last check, that score was 3-1 Gators, the top of the sixth. Florida will complete a doubleheader tonight when they take on Mount St. Mary's. First pitch of that game is slated for 6-15. The Gator gymnastics team welcomes 14th-ranked Minnesota into the O'Connell Center for their regular season home finale. And it's senior night in the O-Dome. Ajane Dickerson, Marissa King, Dali Lamenza, and Randy Stagerberg will, host, will be honored in a post-ceremony meet. The contributions these four have made for the Gators Gymnastics program aren't lost on their coach, and she's not ready to say goodbye to them just yet. As a group, they've just been uh, incredible, and they will, of course, be very sadly missed. But we don't talk about that because there's still quite a bit of season <laughs> left to go. Tonight's meet is set for seven. The Gator men's basketball team is back in action tomorrow following yet another tough Tuesday road loss. Florida slipped up in Tennessee, but will try to right the ship against Alabama on Saturday. Lately, the tide has rolled through conference play, and at 11-4, Alabama is tied with Kentucky for the second best record in the SEC, just one game behind Florida. On top of their home court advantage, however, the Gators will get a big boost on Saturday when key bench players will you get Michael Frazier and Casey Prather return. Florida head coach Billy Donovan says he likes the added depth, but wants his team to maintain their intensity. Our guys that have been through the grind of most of this the last month or so, um, they, they can't rest and relax. They've got to understand that they've got to step up and they've got to play and they cannot take the approach. Well, you know, we're a little bit deeper. We have more guys available. Tip-off for tomorrow's game is set for noon. The women's basketball team celebrated senior night Thursday evening with a 69-58 win over Arkansas. Four Gators scored in double figures, including junior guard Jatera Bonds, who had a game-high 18 points. But the team was really led by lone senior Jennifer George, who recorded her ninth double-double of the year, finishing with 11 points and 13 rebounds. Her coach is impressed with that effort and proud. Jennifer played like a senior, especially down the stretch, and, and really just anchored us in the paint and, and gave us confidence that whatever was going on, it, it was going to go Florida's way. And uh, again, that's what a senior does, especially in her last opportunity to play in front of her, her home fans on, on her home court. The Gators are back in action on Sunday as they travel to South Carolina for their last game of the regular season. All right, thanks, Jillian. More news after the break. Stay with us. 